All right, 3CX version 7.1 is here. So we're gonna do a quick look at it. Uh, looks like the setup screen is very similar to 7.0. All right, most of the other parts of the wizard look very similar. Added three extensions. Now it's configuring the database. It doesn't seem to take real long. But we'll wait on it did notice that the uh, requirements were 1 gig of RAM. I thought that was going to go down, but it looks like it's still at 1 gig. And we'll see what happens here. I have this, inst I have uh, OpenFire instant message server on the same machine, which may not have been a good idea. Let's see what happens. Alright, it seems that we've gotten through all the processes. We'll see what happens here. Looks like it's time to register. Alright, I, I didn't record it here, but it requested my information. I thought it was going to let me register, but it just collected my information. So it says it got my information. Let's see if it starts here. All right, here we are at the login. And I'll log in real quick here. So I can get in my I'm running terminal server behind another machine. Log in there. Take a little bit. All right, there we are. Main screen. Looks like it is installed and ready to go. So now I'll register a phone. Explain here just as a quick. I knew it was on this machine. 100, 100, 100. All right, looks like it registered good there, and as you can see in the background, we do have a light. All right, let's take a look around. All right, now I'll just log in my second phone here. Seems to have connected. Let's call one. Yeah, looks like we got it. Okay. Now, what I'm really eager to see is the call assistant, so the, the new 3CX call assistant. So why don't I log that one in too? Okay, so the new call assistant, only one meg in it. It looks nicer in real life than it did on the web blog, on Nick's blog. So, just log in here. In there. Uh, okay, I was fighting with the assistant, and I have an idea of the reason it's not logging in. It's probably because I don't have my key. I always forget to do that. So I don't do that. All right, I kind of gave up. I think I changed the port on the call assistant, so I'm just gonna go on to the uh, call reporter, which is. Uh, I wasn't really wanting to install that guy. I understand, according to the post on Nick's blog, that there is a built-in call reporter. I'm going to look around here a little bit more. Okay, as I'm poking around here under settings, I'm sorry, view. I got billing information. I see that, but I still don't see the inbuilt uh, inbuilt call reporter. So I'm still poking around. So for some reason, I'm not finding the inbuilt reporter. But I guess I'll poke a little more here. All right, I may have found it. it's under Start menu, under PCX, and then here, Log Reporter. And you're seeing this. I didn't see it any more than you have. The call logs. Oh, that looks nice. That looks good. Obviously, there's probably going to be no traffic in there. Running quite slow, though. If they're accurate reports, that is good. I'm not sure if what they're using there almost looks like just reports or something, but good. The interface looks nice. So there's Q reports, banding calls, some other things. Nice, doesn't look like bad work there. It looks like it's a little more of a finished product. Maybe a little better fit and finish than the access tool. The thing I'm noticing is in the advanced settings custom parameters, look, there's some settings we can do here. Very good to bring that back. There are some things that were missing. I think they came back. Good idea. 
Another new feature that's very good on advanced settings, CDR output lets you send the call details, call data rec records to another program. Uh, we have TCP, I believe it is. All oh, right, I changed the port and it wouldn't work, so I just had to reinstall it. And there it is. Okay, looks good, looks better. Actually, like I said before, it looks better in real life than it did on the screenshot. I'm going to try to position everything so it fits in the screen here so we can try some things. I'm going to just play them like a little bit. Perky, slick. Okay, we can see we're on a call. Who we're on a call with? Up there my calls. Looks like we can do some things. We can transfer a call. We can transfer it to voicemail. How about we just transfer that guy to voicemail? Okay, we just took it off. Send it to voicemail. That's good. Alright, I just made a call from one to the other, selected that call, and then hit park, and it send it to park. So now I'm assuming I can just select this guy. I'm guessing there's a way to grab that call back. Let me just click on it. Looks like some pretty nice stuff. It's just my opinion. Okay. Maybe just send it to Sounds good. I think this looks like it gives you some pretty good insight to play with it for a while. But it looks good. It does look good. Okay, I'm not sure. Somehow I got a call part here and I'm. I'm guessing I'm clicking something or I'm not able to unpark it. And I don't have audio. Neither one. Neither of my friends appears. A little confused how I have a, I appear to have a call parked, but I'm not sure how to retrieve it. I uh, probably don't know how to use it. But looks good. Alright, just to recap, I'm back at the blog here. Version 7.1 beta. The assistant certainly uh, looks like it's there, installed at work. At least the basic level inbuilt reporter, that is very good. That CDR tool couldn't test it, but looks like it sends it uh, to a separate CDR tool if you need to. Looks like it did do some work on some security, which is good. Uh, the install did seem to go very good for me, I'll, I'll agree with that. It looks like a whole lot of good fit and finish things. I see they have it now support for install and small business server excellent thing a lot of fit and finish things some uh, language sets uh, there's a lot of good stuff there okay dope